Hello and welcome to Fest of Bears Day 3. I'm Simon from Val and this is Dungeons and Dreadmore episode 3. Yeah, so today we actually started a game instead of doing to some tutorials and uh, we died on the first floor. Although the first floor is actually pretty big. And I have a reason to believe that all of the floors are pretty big. So uh, we're going to get going again. Uh, I can't load up my last character even though I didn't have permadeath enabled because I didn't save the first floor. At least I think that's what happened. Uh, sorry about that, that was just my phone. Anyway, uh, let's try this new set of um, skills. We've got uh, maces, uh, ma you know, mace bonuses, berserker rage, math of magic, necronom... Necro <laughs> okay. Necronom... <laughs> Yeah, Necronomicanomics. Ah, never mind, you know, dead stuff. Um, Viking wizardry, Promethean magic, and Emomancy. <laughs> wow. And uh, let's call ourselves Festabouts Day 3. No, I can't put all that in. Uh. Let's just call ourselves Simon, I suppose. And you get the same intro text. Alright, so, after that, let's get right into things. So, we've got the same kind of intro room here. Alright, so let's see what we have. We've got, uh, we've got a club. We've got a coat of tweed. Which, uh... Oh, okay, it does increase our, um... Our mana apparently. We've got some spell point stuff and we've got some health stuff. Alright. Let's let's go to the right. So what have we got here? We've got a loot fisk statue. And loot fisk for the loot fisk god, okay, so apparently I can do something with that later. Apparently. Um, oops. You need to actually click on the door instead of the space where the door is. Alright. Um, rust. Okay, again, I can just click up here to hear myself move around for some reason. Anyway, what have we got here? We've got um, brimstone, which I may as well pick up. Uh, and I uh, may as well pick up the oh and broomstone under all that as well I still have no idea how to do well a lot of things really but I suppose we'll learn more as the game continues alright so who are these three things oh Okay, so suppose that these are something to do with... That's all. What happens if I... Okay, nothing happens. What about, um... If I put that in there... And put... This in the other one. What does that do? Whoa! <laughs> uh, sure, except I have nothing. Well, uh, that happened. I wonder if some. Whoa! I wonder if something else would have happened if I put things in a different order. Oh, I better check my spells just while I remember. Frodo's jump discontinuity, uh, random teleport, I guess around the entire map. Deathly hex. Um, although it does have some penalties as well. Power of magic steel. Uh, Dragon's Breath and Love will teleport us apart. Um, I have no idea what that means. Well, that's a, well, I have no idea what it's supposed to imply. Anyway, so I'm uh, gonna let this guy. Oh! You do magic attacks. Well, I'm gonna. Oh. Honk if you love Dreadmoor. Alright, um, let's get the ticket. 
There we go. Got him. Alright, um... Yeah, that was probably a bit dumb. But... Anyway, that... I'm... Back in action, and... Oh, I just realised I had Berserker stuff going on there. Um, more... Things... Elven Inga Grinder. Wait, let's... Whoa! Alright, I've got something here. Uh, no, I don't really want to grind the iron and get into rust. Oh, I can, look, I can scroll the mouse to... Okay, so... Something that I can use for later then, I suppose. And now that I know that I can use... Do that, um... I'm gonna hold Dragon Breath in there, but... Whoa! Good thing I just put Dragon Breath in. Oh crap, my health is critical? Alright. Die! Like a good gnome. <sighs> Ooh, what's this? Modular alchemy kit. Uh, oh, crap. Wonder if that was something that I needed. Can I search these shelves? No. What was that? Did I just run into a trap? I, th I think I did, actually. Uh, I feel like waiting around a little bit just to... Just pre holding space a lot, advancing my turn a lot. Right. Oh, there's a Desirem. Oh. Okay, but there is something there, so I'll, so I can't really. Um. All right. Let's go. Oh crap! There's a tr up there as well. Can I? No, I have a forty percent chance of success, and I don't really want to get myself killed already. Um. All right. So I guess that road's kind of blocked off to me then. Um. Put my brew in the. Oh, I, there's shift, so I can use shift to use those if I want to. Oh, there's oh there, there's two diggles. Okay. Um. All right. Well, what do I want to do? Okay. I guess dragons, bro. Oh crap. Um. Yeah, well, that doesn't really help me, actually. Oh, what? You blocked that attack. Uh, you know what? I think I will go for smaller floors, just to see how that does any things differently. And we'll do uh, archery, unarmed combat, master of arms, necronom... Let me let me try and do this. Necronomicomics. Necronomicomics. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Promethean magic, lay walker, and wand. I'm gonna call myself Darn. All right. Let's have a look. Oh, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. Um. 
wand, uh, two, two types of bolts, uh, a couple of wands, let's see, meat wand, um, stony wand, arcane wand, and then, and then grog and health stuff, okay, and mm, end dimensional life, which I don't know what that, oh, oh, interesting. But I don't have a burnt out wand. But it looks like I could. Later at least. Anyway. Uh, any, no, nothing to start, start me off here. Uh, let's go in here. Where can I go? Oh, and I've got Deathly Hex and Dragon's Breath. I can't go into the middle there because... Oh! Okay, so unarmed combat might be good for me for later. Or at least it kind of seems that way. Uh, hold on, what's this? A villainous sales demon with a terrible checkered suit. Okay, so I purchased stuff from him. Well, wow, and there is some good stuff there. Just, um, can't really do anything with it at the moment. This door is another diggle. Would you kindly go away? No, I will not. Um. Okay, so what did I just do with that um with that spell? Because I still don't quite know. There we go, it's dead. And... Ooh. Okay, well, I've got a cube of flesh. And I've got lockpicks here. Which will always be handy for um, doors and stuff. And a diggle egg, which I can eat for food. Okay, so... So that happened, and I'll be slowly regaining health as well. Still can't really get that, that wand there, but I uh, can't really do anything about it. Um, I don't feel comfortable with this spell. Because, yeah, it looks like it does a lot of um, negative effects to me as well. Oh, that was a lockpick thing? Okay. Alright, let's let's attack you with meat wand. Okay, so what did I do? I got awful and another cube of flesh. And awful and awful. Wow. Okay, so I get um I get food by using the meat wand. Oh, I just used it up. And I've got a stick. Oh the yeah. Okay, so I've got a burnt out wand here, which is what the uh, end dimensional life is for, supposedly. Um, there's some more food stuff, so let me put that in there. This looks like a secret passage, so let me see what this does. Hmm. There's no real indication of where that came from. But let me just check. Oh, I know, that's the shop there. Dragon's Breath. Let me show you what it does right now. <laughs> yep. And I just kicked it to death.
Alright, anyway, we've got uh, lots of loot just here. Oh, and some pants there. Um, just let me pick up all of this uh, loot just there because it looks like I kind of need it. Like, if you saw last episode, I saw it ran into some uh, loot fisk statue thing. That was weird. There we go. Alright, so I got it all. And what's this? Pirate training breaches. <laughs> so I've got a uh, pants armor now. What does that do? It increases my caddishness. Um, and dodge chance. Okay. Cool. Actually, wait, I better. I don't know, there's. Nothing else in that direction. So let's go this way. Ooh! This looks like a fancy place. Um. Oh, I didn't realize I had a crossbow. <laughs> Wish I knew that earlier, actually. <laughs> um. Alright. Oh, I didn't realize there was a trap there. Can I disable it? Um, maybe. But I don't really want to, and it's kind of not in the way. So I don't have to worry too much about that. Alright. So that path is cleared. Now let's go this way. Oh, look, there's a diggle. I'm gonna kick you. I'm gonna kick you again. And now there are more of you, so I'm just gonna put, put you in the flames. Are you not affected by fire? Jeez. Yes, I don't care that my health is low. Yay, I got a new level, so now I have to upgrade one of my skills. So, let's upgrade one of my skills. Um. Let's see, what have I got here? Uh, Nightmare Curse. Inscri okay, so I can do runes and stuff. Um. <laughs> Oh, good show. Um, what else have we got? Um, I'm kind of leaning toward the rune of exploding at the moment. Hmm. Um. I think I'll do that, use that one, because it looks like there would be a lot more... Oh, he's playing video games. Yo, dog. Uh, anyway, here's a tickle egg, which I'll pick up. Uh, oh, and there's another one. Anything in that corner? No. Alright. Okay, good, I picked the lock. Uh, ooh, Satanic Displacement Glyph. I do not want to go near that. Well, don't want to go on that. Uh, adventuring Gloves. Uh, oh, there's the glove slot. And that increases my block chance. Okay. Uh, ooh, bookshelf. Right. Uh, do I have a screenshot button for Bandicam? Sorry, I probably shouldn't even be doing this while I'm recording. Um, there. I'll probably edit- Ah, <laughs> And in the end it was worthless. Oh well. Guess I had that coming. Oh, I get a- Okay, so this must increase my field of vision or something. And that uses a turn.
Yes, burn, little gnome. And then be kicked by me. It's this way. A refurbished staff. Put that next to the use up wand. Wow, there's lots of food in this room. Let's see. Uh, brie cheese. Uh, oh, oops. Um, sewer brew here. I don't. I'm not sure if I actually uh, touched on this during episode two, but um, it was definitely covered during the tutorials. Um, food helps you to restore health. Wow, so much food! Wow. Um, and the um, yeah, food restores health, and drinks restore. Um, well, you know, regular drinks restore mana quicker. Like you, you will uh, get uh, m mana and health back regardless. But I simply mean um, you'll get it back faster. All right. Picking up all the stuff. There's a mushroom there. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's not a uh, something that tells me what it does. So I'm going to have to put that somewhere else just so I don't. Oh, and a little black book. Uh, solution of gold. All right. Can I disable that? No, I cannot. Yeah, I'm going to move this out of the way. Looks like there's still more things here. Wow. Yeah, cheese. Um, there's more mushroom, a fungus, sewer brew. Alright, and you've got these statues of Dreadmore. You can click on them to break them. And I get experience points for that, actually. <laughs> Yeah, don't forget that we actually chose, um, selected smaller levels this time around, so... Um... Another gold solution. So you will notice that... I think I will probably be getting more... Uh, experience points easier. Move around the displacement stuff. Ooh. Oh, and there's there's some stairs. I suppose at the next level. Well, I need to remember that. All right. Um. Supposedly, I can click on those stairs to go to the next level, but as I said before, I'm not quite ready yet. So let's go back down. All right. Now I. Oh, there's some something here. Uh, another Pilsner. Not sure what the. There's a mysterious portal there, apparently. And. Ooh, there's a. Okay, no, I don't want to try and harm that. Gotta remember that I have a crossbow as well. So I can uh, click on the. Right click on these bolts to equip them. I think. Anyway, um. Okay, and. Oh crap! I stepped in the portal by mistake. Where am I? Oh, okay. So I accidentally teleported myself onto a another le level zero. Burn you alive! Oh, okay, so I've got poison. Oh, and I gotta level up! Woo! Alright, so let's see what we can do now. Um, 
footwork. Okay, I guess it's make, like making me move faster or something, or mo well, maybe not move faster, but move um, more per turn. What else? Uh, I want to do the magic of exploding, actually. The rune of exploding. Um, suit up. I think I'll use the armor thing, actually, yeah. Alright, so we killed the mummy, and um... Ooh! A cutlass! This blade is fit for the most rotten villainous buccaneers that ever did plunder booty. Um, so I can put that in my slot. Wow, and that actually does take away... Let's see, it takes away, um... Well, stuff. So... You know what, I think I actually will, um, not equip that. For now, at least. But we will see what happens, huh? Sorry. Oh my god! So, okay, so wait, these are ice dragons, or ice, yeah. So, good thing I have this thing of fire here. Oh my god! Are you, you're kidding! Wow. Okay, I was... I was not expecting that behind the portal. Um... Welp. It does appear that I effed up. But I did, um... In a mysterious dimension. Yeah, that would make sense. Should have used WASD to walk around that portal. <laughs> Anyway, I did a damn sight better than uh, my first turn. Or my first couple of turns. And uh, that makes an episode. It's nearing about half an hour, and I think that's kind of the maximum of what I want to do for each episode. At least every episode is not a final episode. Because they tend to go for very long. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's... Um, Sign off. This is Nerario playing uh, Dungeons of the Dreadmore for Festivals Day 3. Join us for the last day of Festivals 2012 when you do another game and I don't have a save again. Uh, starting from scratch again with permadeath off. Wow. Uh, oh well. Everybody, this is a new area playing Dungeons of the Dreadmoth. Welcome to this fest. <laughs> <laughs>